yes yes everyone let's start the class so <coughs> uh, uh, my request is everyone yesterday i mean yesterday bole to in the last class in the last class i given one note for the zero balance clearing account so can anyone please read the note and uh, then i can start the calculation anyone who can read please hello yeah ma'am please go ahead ma'am during the accounting entry postings when the debit uh, parameters is not equal to credit parameter zero balance clearing account can update automatically for that purpose step 1 create the zero balance account comes under current liability step 2 um, we need to map zero balance clearing account step 3 if you do above two activities uh, during the accounting entry postings when the debit parameters is not equal to credit parameters that uh, that time then at that time zero balance will be uh, involved automatically yeah yeah <coughs> everyone concentrated everyone here here my intention is what i am trying to explain here so here you want to create zero balance clearing account comes under current liability you want to create zero balance clearing account and you need to assign or map the zero balance clearing account why what purpose you want to assign what purpose bole to if you assign this activity during the accounting entry posting when the debit parameter is not equal to credit parameter that time zero balance clearing account will be involved automatically so even i i shown uh, <coughs> this thing everyone even i shown uh, this one how it can be what is the accounting entries and all we shown where is that So example during the accounting entry posting example I want to post commission paid account data to cash in the commission paid is a different uh, business area profit center sorry cash is the different business area okay so commission paid account data to cash so when here parameter is different parameter is different debit side different business area and credit side different business area if you post like this zero balance clearing account will be involved automatically how it can be example commission paid account data to zero balance clearing account zero balance clearing account data to cash so this zero balance clearing account is credit here this is debit here so credit and debit going to nullified final accounting entry is called commission paid account data to cash so if it is want to reflect automatically everyone if it is want to reflected automatically so what you want to do in the configuration level first you want to create this gl comes under current liability then you need to map that gl so even i given t codes and all where you create the gls and all okay the t code is called fs00 then how to map each and every point i already given in the last class now my target is how to create this <clears throat> very simple everyone first you try to understand some basic information how to create the gl for most i mean more discussions will come later maybe after three classes here gl creation master data gl master data creation that time each and every field we are going to discuss but now you try to understand some basic information how to create gl master data now my target is to create gl master data that to zero balance clearing account comes under current liability so in the current liability what is the number range we created for the current liability in the accounts group uh, let it be in the current liability especially in the current liability 
we taken the number range this is the one current liability uh, 160002 everyone now my target is to create the <coughs> to create the gl zero balance clearing account to create the gl what is the t code t code is called fs00 very good fs00 press enter button in the keyboard press enter button in the keyboard here gl number everyone in between in this gl 16000216999 in between you can take any number example i am taking first number 160000 company code pm10 then here 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 click on here create click on here create so accounts group accounts group comes under current liability so now you people can tell me current liability comes under profit and loss account or balance sheet balance sheet balance sheet select here balance sheet now here you can write the description zero balance clearing account balance clearing account zero balance clearing account and go to control data go to control data then come down line item display short key 001 create bank interest app g001 post automatically when the debit parameter is not equal to credit parameter that time zero balance clearing update will automatically post automatically press enter and save i am repeating once again everyone click on here okay <coughs> everyone concentrate here i am repeating once again i am repeating once again everyone 160000 company code pm10 so this is comes under current liability current liability comes under balance sheet now here you can write the description and uh, go to control tab this is the description basic type of description go to control tab here click on your line item display short key 001 you people ask one question sir what is meant by short key what is meant by line item it will come later maybe after two days okay what is meant by short key and uh, so you, now you can click on straight away what the definition i will explain later and uh, go to create bank interest app here you can take g001 field status group then post automatically press enter and save simply you can create like this so for more explanation it will come after two days okay press enter and save so what is the gl number this is the gl number 160000 means is called zero balance clearing account zero balance clearing account now now we need to map this gl account we need to map this gl account why i want to map what is the purpose of i want to map the mapping is <coughs> everyone the mapping is very simple everyone <coughs> why i want to map boleto why i want to map boleto if you map then only gl will reflected automatically in case if you are not mapped then it will be won't reflected automatically it won't reflected automatically okay so how we can going to map that gl what is the process very simple everyone this is the path everyone this is the path example spro financial accounting new general ledger accounting new business transaction and uh, document splitting define zero balance clearing account define zero balance clearing account this is the path everyone okay let let's see let's see everyone in case of any doubts please note it down aside we will discuss okay <coughs> so everyone go to go on mute please please go on mute please please everyone spro enter 
SAP reference IMG and uh, select here financial accounting new and uh, general ledger accounting new and uh, business transaction and uh, document splitting and here everyone define zero balance clearing account here in this step so you just double click on this execute button in case in case if you want to understand more information why you want to assign this real what is the prefer what is the purpose of define zero balance clearing account so you just go through this document this document can give more information everyone whenever you have the time now just analyze these documents everyone so it can be give more information why what purpose <clears throat> what is the purpose everything okay just go through this <clears throat> so you just double click on this execute button everyone concentrate everyone we just double click on this execute button so it's going on browse and uh, so here you want to select the triple zero why i want to select the triple zero it is a standard account for the zero balance so select here triple zero and double click on accounts and give it here your chart of accounts what is your chart of accounts pm oc then click on here okay then click on here new entry here here you want to assign one six double zero double zero guys i am repeating once again guys for my satisfaction i am repeating once again concentrate here my dear students please please focus <coughs> come to this path everyone come to this path financial accounting new general ledger accounting new business transaction document splitting define zero balance clearing account okay so you just double click on this execute button and select here 3001 why you want to select the 3001 sap suggested like this it is an a standard even real time also we select same thing and uh, double click on accounts and give it here your chart of accounts pmoc then enter and click on here new entry then here you need to assign the GL. So what GL we created? One six anyone? One six double zero double zero. Press enter. Press enter. Enter. So that details will come. Okay. Click on here. Save. Click on here. Save. Click on here. Save. So next one, next one second everyone, please be online, one second. So yeah, everyone, I'm back everyone. So everyone, in case of any doubts, uh, please note it down aside, then I can give you time to ask the doubts, okay? So <clears throat> the next one, next one everyone, next one, Define document splitting. Define document splitting characteristics for the general ledger accounting. Define document splitting characteristics for the general ledger accounting. <coughs> so, like uh, everyone, concentrated everyone. So, for example, for example, so how the classic GL accounting entry, how the new GL accounting entry. 
so during the new gl postings during the new gl accounting entry posting so business area then profit center and segment so this is the mandatory one actually business area profit center and segment it's a mandatory one but in the coming classes we will select some more okay based on the topic we will select the some more objectives or elements during the accounting entry posting but now business area profit center is required actually so here in this step we need to specify the system in this step we need to specify the system we want business area we want profit center we want segment so that parameters or that elements you need to select in the this step why you want to select why because in the new gl concepts when the sap when they introduce the new gl concept this objectives or these parameters is required actually business area profit center and segment is the required during the accounting entry posting for that reason you need to select here where in this step you need to select here <coughs> so this one here define document splitting for define document splitting characteristic for the general ledger account so same path everyone same path same path financial accounting new general ledger accounting new business transaction document splitting define document splitting characteristics for the general ledger accounting so this is the path everyone so you just double click on this execute button double click on this execute button and uh, here everyone <coughs> in my system maximum systems this is already selected uh, business area profit center and segment this is already selected in case in your system in case in your system this is not there in case what can i do so business fields business area profit center and segment is a i mean required actually so example it is not there what you need to do click on here new entry click on here new entry here you can select example business area and profit center and segment press enter and save in case in your system already is there then you not required to change anything you can keep it as this you can keep it as this business area profit center and segment okay check you in your system in this screen if this three objectives is there you can keep it as this in case is not there click on your new entry and select sir why you want to select this why because in the new gl concepts during the accounting entry posting business area profit center and segment is a mandatory things you have to select that one during the accounting entry posting <coughs> the next one next one everyone the next step is define document splittings define document splitting characteristics for the controlling everyone for the controlling co or management accounting these things we will discuss later everyone during the co time we will discuss later like example uh, cost elements cost centers internal orders budgeting planning actuals blah 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 x y z so many things we will discuss in the co time but in here you can keep it as it is you don't change anything whatever in the in your standard system you can keep it as it is for that discussions will come later okay so same path everyone same path next one define document splitting characteristics for the control so here you just double click on this execute button and you can keep it as it is sometimes in some systems this details is not available no problem you can keep it empty also no problem 
so what is mean by cost center cost objectives profitability blah 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 all the things will come later not required now okay whatever screen it's appear now keep it as it is the finally the last one activate document splitting activate document splitting finally in the last one activate document splitting very simple everyone you just double click on this execute button double click on execute button then you need to click on this activation of document splitting you just click on this radio button okay this is the standard method actually double zero double zero double zero zero one two okay you just click on this radio button activate if you remove this tick mark deactivate if you click on this activate if you activate then only it will work okay so click on your save and back everyone basically why we want to do this configuration steps why we want to do this configuration steps what is the purpose of we want to do this configuration steps like uh, classify gl account for a document splitting classify document type for the document splitting then zero balance define zero balance clearing account define document splitting characteristics for the general ledger accounting and define document splitting for the controlling and activate document splitting why why because i will show you or we will test it we will test is three types of activities one is active splitting one is zero balance splitting one is passive splitting active splitting passive splitting and zero balance splitting so this three things this three activities during the accounting entry posting the system want to reflect active splitting passive splitting and zero balance splitting system want to reflect these three things then you need to do this configuration you want to do this configuration if you do this configuration then only system will behave active splitting passive splitting and zero balance splitting otherwise it won't during the accounting entry posting i will show you so this is the configuration this configuration we will do in the development system okay so the next one is called parallel accounting before going to parallel accounting now time to ask the doubts go ahead one by one no doubts no doubt good hello sir ah ma'am tell me ma'am sir i have a small doubt hmm hmm and this is the for the very first step which we make for the document splitting classify gl account for document splitting hmm. so there we have one option na override like there is one something override and override means for example if you click on that uh, radio button in the future it maybe system will allow to change okay sometimes we need to add some more uh, accounts groups na so I that guess. time it will going to override that's fine okay yeah next one So why is we assigning that uh, uh, um, profit center segment? And there was one tick mark for zero balancing. Mandatory. So there was only two tick marks. Segment was not ticked for the zero. Ha. Balancing. For example, if for example the thing is if you if you are not selected that tick mark in the segment. in case the debit parameter debit segment is not equal to credit segment zero balance cannot be reflected if you select that tick mark it can be reflected okay got, sir got it my point we, sh we should uh, you, tick it right ah the client is required then you need to tick client is not required okay segment is not required bole to then you can remove that tick mark okay yeah good yeah <clears throat> so everyone now my target is 
now my target is so you people want to understand parallel accounting so yesterday i mean yesterday was the last class we discussed some things what is meant by ias or what is meant by gap what is meant by gap everyone generally yeah. accepted accounting principle very good generally accepted accounting principle and uh, ias bole to indian accounting standards ifrs bole to international financial anyone international financial reporting standards standards so everyone concentrated everyone concentrated everyone example local gap or ias local gap or ias indian accounting standards or example local gap here everyone concentrated everyone concentrate here in the sap sap already have one ledger not for the gl gl bole to general ledger guys concentrate everyone gl means general ledger general ledger bole to rent account cash account commission paid account building account land account this type of things now we are discussing ledgers as per the sap ledgers especially in the ecc so in the fico we have two types of ledgers even if you go to the s4 hana later it will come s4 hana one more ledger also it will add extension ledger or appendix ledger but now you people can understand in the ledgers two types of ledgers one is leading ledger and one is non leading ledger non leading ledger everyone in the leading ledger in the leading ledger 0l is the standard you are not required to do anything here 0l leading ledger 0l sap already defined you are not required to do anything here everyone concentrated everyone example your company code your company code belongs to us belongs to us your company code is belongs to us this 0l behave like a us accounting standards your company code belongs to uh, example sri lanka so this 0l behave like a sri lankan accounting standards your company code your company code belongs to india so this 0l behave like a ias so this is the standard actually sap already defined the 0l hari <coughs> krishna so 0 0l is the standard actually one second 0l is the standard you are not required to do anything sir what about leading ledger is okay what about non leading ledgers what about non leading ledgers everyone everyone concentrate here everyone everyone concentrate everyone in your company in your company will do the business entire world other than your country for example my everyone concentrate everyone concentrate here example my business in indian business uh, pm10 located in india for example if i do the business within india my purchases sales all activities all business transactions within the india then ias is enough ias is enough zero l is enough so it will reflected uh, sap already defined then your parallel accounting configuration is not required 
your parallel accounting configuration is not required. 0L already there. In case, in case you are doing the business even other than India, sometimes I will do the sales in China. I can purchase from America. I will do the act business transaction in Malaysia. In case you you can operate the business transactions even other than India or other than your company country, that time parallel account will be involved. Why? That time you required you required IFRS. IFRS IFRS reports IAS reports even IFRS reports then you required you required US gap reports US gap reports for example everyone US gap will in case your head office your for example your head office located in US then you required US gap for example, Russia, Russian gap is required. You can ask your client what type of reports they want. Means based on my company code, I required IAS, Indian Accounting Standards. Then I am doing the business other than my country. So that time we required IFRS reports, International Financial Reporting Standards. Then we required US gap. Maybe client is required US gap. Maybe client is required Europe gap. Maybe client is required Malaysian gap. Based on that, you can do that. You can change the naming convention. So this is called leading ledger. This is called leading ledger. So this is called non-leading ledgers. Why, why you are doing this? This is we are doing for the reporting purpose. If you post any accounting entry, everyone, concentrate here, everyone. If you post any accounting entry, the accounting entry value will going to reflect or update leading ledgers and non-leading ledgers. Leading ledger and the non-leading ledger. For example, everyone, concentrate here, everyone. If you post any accounting entry or document entry, accounting entry or document entry, both are same. In the finance prospective, accountants will call as a accounting entry postings. Other people call as a document entry posting. Both are same. If you post any accounting entry, how many currencies should be reflected? One is, one is anyone? Local currency. Local currency. Local currency and a document currency. Document currency or transactional currency. Document currency or transactional currency. Let it be. Document currency and everyone concentrate here and group currency. group currency group currency group currency what is mean by what is mean by local currency local currency boleto everyone local currency boleto during the company code creation during the company code creation whatever currency you specified that currency is called local currency what is meant by document currency what is meant by document currency document currency boleto during the accounting entry posting maybe sales invoice purchase invoice and gl invoice asset invoice during the accounting entry postings whatever currency you specified that currency is called document currency 
then what is mean by group currency group currency means we will maintain the group currency scc4 everyone concentrate here group currency bole to example example my head office in us my head office in us usd is the my group currency why because all the higher authority people will generate the reports in usd currency example my corporate office or head office located in uh, singapore so sgd is my group currency my head office located in india inr is my group currency okay carp means reporting level what is the higher higher authority reportings finally the management will see which currencies where you will maintain the group currency on scc4 this is the t code actually i will show you how to maintain the group currency <coughs> so this is the t code to maintain the group currency and uh, if you post any accounting entry three currency should be reflected same way three ledgers three ledgers will going to reflect it one one leading ledger leading ledger and two non leading ledgers two non leading ledgers if you post any accounting entry the accounting entry will reflected one leading ledger and two non leading ledgers two non leading leading ledgers one leading ledger and two non leading ledgers example leading ledger boles to example ias indian accounting standards or local gap whatever non leading ledgers bole to ifrs and us gap us gap if you post any account any accounting entry rent account data to cash commission paid account data to commission payable contractor fee account data to vendor customer account data to sales any accounting entry it's it's not a matter that accounting entry will reflected three currencies and three ledgers and if you post any accounting entry especially in the new gl concepts it will be reflected and two views it will be reflected in the two views actually two views what is that one is entry view entry view and general ledger view or gl view entry view and gl view in the sap i am in the tally and other software i don't know but in the sap if you post any accounting entry that accounting entry will reflected this many objectives that accounting entry view how many time how many like uh, we are uh, view how we can see for example if you take coin you can coin you can see uh, two two views what we call upper and down what we call bomma borsu antaru kada head and tail ha header and tail so you are cricket fan ah so header and tail means one coin you can view two views header and tail same way in the sap in one accounting entry will see in the two views one is entry view and one is general ledger view so this accounting entry will reflected three currencies leading i mean local currency document currency and group currency this accounting entry will reflected three ledgers okay one is ias ifrs and us gap note it down everyone you can write full form not going don't put l currency d currency and group currency no not like that okay how to maintain the group currency i will show you note it down everyone
very 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 important interview point of view Done, noted. So during the accounting entry posting, if I post any accounting entry, this many uh, things I want to show you means if you post any accounting entry or uh, accounting entry posting means testings. If you test any thing, you need to see this many objectives. You want to see this many objectives. Done, noted, yes, no, okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, one minute, sir. Okay. So, for example, for example, if your accounting entry want to reflect it, one leading ledger and two non-leading ledgers. So, what configuration you required? What configuration you required? Then, very simple, everyone. Very simple. So, very very easy so you have to do this configuration steps you have to do this configuration steps basically seven steps will required define ledger for general ledger accounting and uh, note it down everyone note it down better just these steps note it down please not required the path uh, and everything just steps note it down Define ledger for general ledger accounting. and uh, define currencies for uh, leading ledgers and third step is define and activate non-leading ledgers next one assign scenarios and customer fields to ledgers the next one <coughs> activate cost of sales accounting the next one Define accounting principles. The next one, assign accounting principle to ledger groups.
maybe this week we are start from the accounting entry posting side one okay maybe after that we need to create document types and number ranges after that uh, gl master creation then start for accounting entry postings done noted done yes no okay yes sir. yes sir okay <coughs> so now everyone so 0l is the standard everyone 0l is the standard and this is for leading ledger okay 0l is the standard now we need to create non leading ledgers we need to create non leading ledgers okay so what is the path and how to check the leading ledgers and uh, how to create the non leading ledger everyone i am repeating once again parallel accounting configuration is the optional when when it is optional if you are doing the business within your country not required for the parallel accounting leading ledger non leading le non leading ledgers is not required in case if you operate your business entire world other than your country that time this is the required why because some more reports you required ifrs us gap any other reports is required maybe us gap maybe europe gap maybe sri lankan gap whatever okay that time only it's required maybe whoever use sap na that is international companies only so obviously they required this thing so you people must focus and do the practice okay let's start the practice everyone <coughs> so everyone let it be so this is the first one define ledger group for the general ledger accounting so this is the path everyone spro financial accounting new financial accounting global setting new uh, ledgers and ledger define ledger for general ledger accounting define ledger for general ledger accounting so this is the path everyone okay so yeah and go back can anyone tell me the path anyone please spro enter who can remember sap sap reference i am yeah enterprise enterprise structure one second one second sorry financial accounting new Anyone? financial accounting global setting new global setting new ledger ledger and ledgers again ledger ledger this one and define ledger, ledger for general ledger account so everyone this is the path everyone so in case if i want to see the t code how can go anyone additional, additional information additional information display keys and img so that way you need to go the um, t code okay so <coughs> everyone so this is the path everyone financial accounting new financial accounting global setting new ledgers and ledgers define ledger for general ledger accounting define ledger for general ledger accounting so you just double click in case if you want to understand more then go to this document this document can explain more whenever you have the time must analyze this documents everyone so this is the documents give more and more information valid information okay what is meant by leading ledger what is meant by non leading ledger okay it can be give more information okay so 
to just double click on this execute button and uh, everyone zero l zero l is the standard everyone zero l is the standard it's an a leading ledger you can click on this activate means in the leading ledger okay now i want to create non leading ledger how to create non leading ledger very simple everyone very simple select this zero l click on your copy as set up here any two digit example i am set up p1 and this is for example non leading ledger for ifrs underscore ifrs and it is not a leading ledger it is on a non leading ledger remove this tick mark what is meant by table table analysis it, it will come press enter enter oh p1 already used uh, somebody already used p1 i can take uh, uh, p7 enter yeah okay and save So it's going on pros it will take some time <coughs> save So it's going on browse everyone so it will take some time so based on your system memory it's your server uh, performance it will take some time to save the data so ecc we can uh, use only two non reading right huh? in ecc we can use only two non reading ledgers right we have ha ha yeah. answer is yes. even you can maintain 3 also maximum 3 maximum 3 okay yeah yeah maximum 3 non leading ledger system all Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Every minute is going on safe. Wait. Uh, Sometimes Siri is not working.
see everyone ledger group p7 has been created click on here okay <coughs> everyone concentrate everyone i'm repeating again <coughs> i'm i'm doing again everyone one more one more one more i'm doing come to this path come to this path and <coughs> double click on this execute button you just double click on this execute button and uh, here 0l is a standard okay select here 0l otherwise directly you can click on your new entry and write it here so what is a uh, setup here any two digit and write the description standard table and don't click on this for where because we are giving giving why because we are creating non leading ledgers okay sir something is confusion sir what can i do no problem select the standard one click on your copy so set up here any two digit example i am set up p8 so it is uh, description example non leading ledger for us gap non leading ledger for us gap usg gap and so this is the standard table actually so what is mean by table why table what is the purpose of table it will come later so you can keep it as this then remove this tick mark you can remove this tick mark why because i am creating non leading ledgers and press enter then okay and save guys you can ask some questions everyone so instead of waiting some time anyone any questions <coughs> everyone i i am i'm very very appreciating everyone if i am appreciating everyone to do your hard work why because maximum people uh, doing the job and simultaneously learning this uh, sap but the goodness is 90% of people some people sharing the screenshots one to one to one some people sharing the screenshots in the group 90% of people practicing well actually excellent means see how they are doing their job they are doing their take care of their family they are listening the classes and they are doing the practice how you people great i am i feel very proud okay very good everyone appreciate for your hard work everyone everyone is good okay thank you sir if you if you do same thing i mean uh, four months okay four to five months so you people must get the job subject everyone if you learn proper way to the subject job will come automatically in case if you have lack of subject aapko subject na aaya hai to nobody give the job if you know the subject knowledge then automatically job will come okay so everyone if you learn proper way in the sap your life became after sap and before sap sap has give beautiful life to everyone so very good packages very good packages as a faculty i saw many stories 
many students uh, lifestyles and all okay how the people before sap job how now the people are doing after sap job they are doing sap job now how they are living okay so i have many stories whenever i have time then that time i will tell you some stories okay so why i am telling my intention is so same phenomena same practice in the coming classes maybe after uh, seven to eight classes after completing the gl then i will share you interview question and answers so take print out and every day half an hour read interview question and answers example <coughs> example we completed enterprise structure so you already practiced enterprise structure so you can read interview question and answers in the enterprise structure example we completed global parameters you people already practiced you can read then global parameters interview question and answers then weekly once you can revise 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 all the questions on the weekends revision revision uh, <coughs> how like uh, i don't want to add any names here um, how uh, parayana colleges will do <laughs> i am not adding the college name actually always they will make the students uh, subject revision 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 like that okay so, so you people also every day you can read half an hour interview question and answers in the weekend like saturday or sunday you can revision again all the things whatever you read like that so everyone this is more than enough okay uh, to crack the job so sap is a not a rocket science okay but sap actually it's a lengthy lengthy subject actually it's a vast subject but it is not a river it is not a ocean it is not a mountain no not like that no not like that it is uh, obviously it's a lengthy subject especially in the sap fico okay so you people analyze more and more scenarios lot of topics we want to do it's a lengthy subject but it's not a ocean it's not a river no no not like that no not like that it is not a rocket science no sap is a user friendly software it's a nice software actually okay if you learn if you understand proper manner in the sap if you practice multiple times then it's it's become easy actually guys you can keep it always one point everyone i'm always telling to my students if you do if you do any activity if you do any activity in the first time not only sap you can leave the sap in your life lot of things we will do actually anything if you do in the first time you will feel as a <coughs> you can feel as a hard are it is very tough it's very hard if you do in the first time if you do multiple times same activity if you do multiple times in the same activity it's become a very easy again and again and again and again if you do again and again multiple times it's become very easy very easy actually okay just one minute i will tell you one thing everyone later i will come to my subject <coughs> uh, i don't want to add any company names actually uh, maybe uh, maybe around 10 years back story i am telling i i went for one uh, one meeting one ceremony like one meeting um, so on the stage one person will speaking very um, without fear on the stage he will speaking without fear with nice words so he can control entire people uh, all the people will focus on their him speech okay so after that uh, uh, meeting so we had some uh, dinner also so during the uh, dinning like uh, dinnering time 
i met him so you are a very good uh, uh, stage speaker so if i am want to become a good speaker what can i do i asked this question to him so he said uh, you can speak multiple times in the stage then automatically you are become a best uh, stage speaker first time when you are doing it's feel very hard but again and again and again if you do multiple times again and again so automatically you can rectify your uh, errors your problems then you will become a best best speaker like that same thing in the sap also everyone so maybe if you listening first time or if you are practicing in first time if you read interview question and answers in first time you feel very hard then you can read again and again and again you can practice again and again and again you can post the document entries you can test again and again and again then it will become easy okay so everyone this four months is very important everyone uh, don't go uh, don't uh, go anywhere don't i mean uh, everyone must attend the class don't lose any classes in case of any plannings better you can postpone and listen the class carefully then once if you successfully completed this class and practice reading interview question and answers if you learn proper subject then automatically job will come okay so it's my uh, words everyone say yes or no will you practice remaining people yes sir yes sir yes sir yes, sir. yes. yes everyone yeah so next one next one come to my subject everyone next one <coughs> yeah next one define currencies for leading ledgers define currencies for leading ledgers everyone so same path everyone like the same path spro financial accounting new financial accounting global setting new and uh, ledgers and ledgers define currencies for leading ledgers so this is the path everyone this is the path and the same path actually uh, you can back same path uh, next one define currencies for the leading ledger so you just double click on this execute button you just double click on this execute button and click on your new entry and give it here your company code give it here your company code what is your company code pm10 enter if you click on pm10 enter so your company code currency automatically reflected why because we are maintain this my company code currency is called inr ten bole to company code currency m exchange rate type m bole to average rate average rate okay then 1 and 3 3 bole to transactional date and 1 bole to translation for example we need to maintain currency 2 currency 2 example everyone example currency 2 example i required group currency i required group currency 30 we have other non leading ledgers also there right we have other ledgers and uh, valuation it's actually zero you can keep it as this and exchange rate type m m for the average rate exchange rate type then uh, this one click on your rows okay and select the one translation take a translation currency take the one it's a standard actually then one more dates type of the dates everyone we have three types of dates everyone one is document date posting date and translation date during the accounting entry posting i will explain what is mean by document date what is mean by posting date what is mean by translation date okay so each and everything i can explain now you can take translation date so press enter press enter enter 
press enter ok so see here group currency it will system will picking usd why it is picking usd i did not maintain any group currency my company code currency it is picking inr why because during the company code creation i maintain inr but if i take the group currency it is picking usd why where we will maintain the group currency everyone concentrate here everyone click on your new session you can go to new session you can go to new session everyone concentrate here everyone you can go to new session go to scc4 t code is called go to scc4 you can ask your client which group currency they want for the reporting level high level reporting level and click on your change and especially in the your client go to your client whatever client you want example in the practicing 800 client here here i am maintaining example e u r euro press enter and save and go to now you can go to here press enter here press enter let's observe this press enter enter see automatically changed the group currency group currency automatically changed okay so same way again so here in the scc4 t code scc4 here i am maintaining usd usd enter and save and go to next screen here here if you press enter enter so usd so where you will maintain the group currency the group currency we will maintain scc4 okay for that level you can ask your client what what is your group currency what level you want to see high level reportings what currency you want to see high level reporting that currency you can maintain here okay these things so this currency one will update automatically currency two you need to uh, maintain example 30 m 1 and 3 press enter and save then click on your next one more pm20 press enter currency one pick automatically and 30 m 1 and 3 enter okay then save so what you people want to understand here Do, for this company for this company or whatever for this company i am 10 or i am 20 i am 10 my first currency three currencies should be reflected na one is document currency local currency and group currency i want three currencies so here for this company code during the company code creation during the company code creation we maintain inr and for this company code we assign our group currency is called usd second currency document currency we specified during the accounting entry postings so currency one currency two and currency three everyone where is that where is that example how many currencies local currency document currency and group currency where you will maintain the local currency we require three currencies local currency we maintain during the company code creation where you will maintain the document currency during the accounting entry posting what currency you specified that currency is called document currency where you will maintain the group currency scc4 scc4 t code you can maintain the group currency in scc4 and you can assign the company code here here your company code with your group currency you can assign here then accounting entry will reflect click on your save and back now time to ask the doubts anyone any doubts
only two steps I explained one is how to create the non leading ledgers then number two is how to assign the currencies then remaining things will come tomorrow no doubts yeah thanks everyone thanks for joining let's meet tomorrow same time my request is everyone please join on time thank you sir thank you sir thank you